Go. Hey, afternoon everybody. This is Michael from the Reptile Zoo bringing you another creature feature. And today we're talking about eggs. So we know lots of animals that lay eggs. Uh, and the ones we're most familiar with are these right here, chicken's eggs. We eat them all the time, great for breakfast, good in a burrito and for making cake. But what about this one? I mean, that must have been one big chicken, right? Actually, no, this is a reptile egg. Specifically, this is from one of our large snakes. We're gonna talk about the difference between a reptile egg and a bird's egg. Now with bird's eggs, we know every time we crack one of these open, this shell is nice and hard. You can hear a little, little click every time I tap it. This shell is calcified. It's kind of like what makes up your bones. And this shell needs to be hard. Uh, the mom sits on top of them. Um, and it's gotta protect the egg, but also be weak enough so the baby can break itself out eventually. But what about a reptile's egg? If you've ever had an opportunity to feel one of these, you'll know it's quite a bit different. Now this is not a freshly laid egg, but it's still got an interesting texture to it. It does still feel kind of smooth, but if you press on it a little bit, you can get a little give. See that? That is not at all like a bird's egg. Look how flexible this is. And sometimes these guys can be leathery or rubbery to the feel. Now, the reason for that is because reptiles and birds do their eggs very differently. With a bird, these guys have to roll their egg around. Uh, they have to make sure it's, you know, constantly being uh, put on all these different sides so that it can, it can incubate properly. Um, and they don't need to uh, stick together so they can just be these hard calcified eggs where a reptile's egg needs to have that flexible exterior. One thing you might notice, especially right there, and I wanted to show you that in particular, is you might think that's just some weird blemish or some people might ask, oh, is there something wrong with it? Actually, no, that's where this egg was actually stuck to another egg. And that is perfectly normal. They're supposed to stick together. When a reptile lays its eggs, for again, going back to uh, using the big snake as an example, these eggs are coated with almost like their own super glue. And because of that flexible exterior, that allows them to get as much contact, as much surface area touching the other eggs as possible. So they all really, really stick together. Why is that so important? So that these don't roll over. Unlike a bird that has to roll its eggs over, a reptile egg cannot be rolled because if the, what happens with uh, the development is the embryo will actually attach itself to the top part of the shell. There's a little bit of an air bubble there. It allows them to breathe. We don't think of them as breathing when they're in the egg, right? But there are actually very, very, very small microscopic holes that let them breathe through the shell. However, if we were to roll this egg over, that bubble ends up getting to the bottom and the baby trying to correct itself will end up back on top where it will then drown. Doesn't sound like a very good thing, right? So these eggs have to stick together. They form one big mass and uh, you give it a little bit of time and they eventually come out like this. <laughs> oh, you were coming out curious at first. Now you're being shy. And actually this one's um, another good example of uh, that flexibility. This one's super, super flexible. Look at this. You'd think you couldn't ever do that with a bird's egg and you're right, you can't. If you did, if you tried, it would shatter and that would not be good for the baby. But with a reptile egg, that flexibility is quite literally a lifesaver. So there we have it. There's another video uh, um, from the Reptile Zoo, another one of our creature features. And we want to see you guys join us for some more. We're going to bring more to you. So stay tuned and see what else we bring to you. Have a good one.